Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. A group at Stanford University has just released a new AI large language model tool. This is called Storm. It does two different things. One is that you can give it a query or a question and it will write a Wikipedia style article for you with references. The other thing that can do is it can create a round table conversation. So you can ask it about a topic and then it will create different avatars or you can suggest some yourself and then you can watch the AI have a conversation with itself. You can also join in as a participant on that conversation. So it uses a combination of the Bing search engine and the ChatGPT API for the processing that's going on behind the scenes. It is a research project, so when you sign up, they do note that whatever queries you put in and output you get out, they are going to potentially be looking at that for research purposes and to improve the tool. On the plus side, though, it is free. So no paid tier here, just a good solid free product. It's really nice also in that it does go to more pains than the other large language models to actually reference what, when it is referring to facts and things like that. So you get something that is more nicely referenced and hopefully that means that you end up with articles with less hallucinations and a higher degree of rigor. So let's take a look at Storm. It's a really nice simple interface. Once we've logged in, we can see on the left hand side, there's only three items here. So new session, which is what we're on at the moment. Discover, which lets you look at other examples of articles and conversations. And then my library where it stores your own searches. So in order to use it, we enter a topic or a question here into the box. When we start entering something into the box here, a second text box will open up where it asks you to share the motivation and what you hope to achieve with your topic. This can be saying something like, I want this for a blog, describing the audience, things like that. It separates the topic from the purpose and style, and I think that's quite handy. They do ask for some amount of detail here. It's been a couple of times where I've just put one or two words in here and it's actually refused to do it until I've added more detail. I've said we're going to do a blog post to help with the purchase decision. Currently with this drop down, the only search engine is Bing. Presumably though, this is something that will expand in the future. And then we have this little flick box. So AI Autonomous is going to write an article for us and CoStorm is going to give us the round table discussion. When we hit start, it takes a fair bit longer than the other large language models. So if you're used to chat GPT, you can see here generating your article, this may take three minutes and it does take a wee while. As it goes though, it does show some of the websites that it's looking at. So we can see that as it's processing, here are some of the different websites. We can see a whole lot about insulation and single and double glazing. It is actually giving us a little bit of more insight into the processing that it's doing. So here is the article and we can see that it's actually pretty detailed. Down the left hand side, they give us a table of contents. And whilst I said a Wikipedia style article, we can see that this is actually really solidly written with lots of references. On the web page, we can click on these and we can see the URL, the highlights, the title, so the reference. When we click show as a PDF, it'll produce a PDF that has a reference list for us. Down the bottom, because this is a research project, they are curious about how they're doing. So they ask for a rating and some comments for you to share with them. And up the top, We've also got this button to see the brainstorming process. And with the brainstorming process, we can see that it has taken our topic. It's generated a variety of different questions based on what we asked for. It's also given a number of different perspectives. So you can see that this is where the round table would start to come from when it's got the discussion style. So we've got the basic fact writer, architect, efficiency expert, engineer. Found that it will come up with several of these and with my tests so far, they've all been pretty sensible looking. One that's somewhat generic and then the others who are different types of experts in the area that you're interested in. And so it has different questions. If you're doing research, this can be really handy just to see what questions it comes up with. 
So based on my topic or my research question, what other questions did these different avatars or experts come up with to ask? Here's the PDF version. Doesn't look quite as neat in PDF. And we can see when we get down to the end, it hyperlinks all of the references. The references are all online. It's a mix of websites. We'll find that there's some that are general websites. There are some that are more academic. Uh, and then there's some that are maybe somewhere in that kind of gray middle area like this one, Architectural Digest. So if we run it with the other option, which is the roundtable discussion here on the main page, we get to it by flicking the switch. So CoStorm Human AI Collaborate then what we end up with is something that looks like this. So it'll take some time, just like with the article writing, to process some sources. We can see on the left hand side there's a bit of a mind map. So that's all been generated by the system for the kinds of things that it's going to look at. And again we've got this little link here, see topic background discussions. Click on that and we can see that there is a starting point here, background discussion moderator, reduce that down. And we can see that we've got a healthcare researcher, we've got general knowledge provider, we've got an ethics person, we've got the physician. And what will happen is we'll go back and forth, one will ask a question, one or more will start answering it. We can see again it is doing it with references. Each time we get a new one, we'll get the option to generate the next one, but we can also join the conversation ourselves. So if we want to generate this one, then we can see that it'll think for a little bit and then it will decide what it wants to write. So here is the bit from the physician, all with references. Periodically then the moderator will pitch in with the next question. We could choose the moderator's question or we can put in our own. So we can see that I've jumped in there with the question, what do you consider to be the biggest risks? And then what we will have is one by one, we'll get some answers from the other participants in the round table. Here's our first one from the general knowledge provider. And then we've got the general practitioner about to jump in. From here, what I did is I asked, can we add a medical student participant to this round table? It didn't do it immediately. I think it must queue up the next person before it really has processed this. So it queued up general knowledge provider who said, yeah, that would be good. And then here we can see next up is the medical student. And we can see the medical student has jumped straight in, joined the conversation as well. So this is a really neat feature. You could do this in chat GPT. But it can take a bit of fiddling, particularly keeping the different avatars separate. Whereas here in Storm, this, this co-Storm, that's what they've designed this all around, is having these separate people or avatars that are going to be replying through that particular lens. With all the tests I've done so far, I've been really impressed by the content. I haven't really seen anything that I would consider to be a bad hallucination. And probably the only thing that would be nice is if there was slightly easier access to the references and having the references all collated. You saw before that when we export a PDF, we can get all of the hyperlinks. But actually having formatted references, something like what we see in the pop-up, but being able to collate them all together I think would be handy and it doesn't seem to do that yet. Other than that though, I've been really impressed. It's really nice and simple. I think coming from that university background, they've added a degree of rigor rather than thinking about this as a commercial product, they're thinking about it as the best possible one they could. The URL currently storm.genie.stanford.edu, I'll link that in the video description. I hope this has been interesting. This has probably been one of the AI finds I've been more impressed with of recent. Please like and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI, stats, data, and random stuff.